All right, we've had a request to show how the turn pan works. The turn pan is what makes the pin go up the cross conveyor before it goes into the turret to go into the buckets. The pinwheel is a big wheel on the back and the pins can go in it either head first or butt first, but when it gets to the turn pan, it always brings them up butt first up the cross conveyor to go into the turret. Let me show you how that works. Now on the back of the machine up here at the top, this is the turn pan. And on here you have the turn pan cam. When they come up butt first, that little finger kind of helps push the pin over a little quicker. Otherwise, I guess they ran into turn pan jams early on. And so somebody added that little turn pan cam on there. But it hits this pan, and either way the pin comes up, it'll go butt first up the cross conveyor, which is those two belts that carry it up there. Kind of like the log ride at Six Flags. You can see, no matter what way they come up, butt first. Where's the head first? Oh, there's another one. There's a head first. Butt first, head first. You always turn them around. So you're probably wondering what happens when the pinwheel keeps feeding pins and there's no room for them up top. There is a cutoff switch. You see these two rollers here. Every time the pin goes by, it staggers. As long as you keep pressure on that switch, the pinwheel will keep running. But as soon as you run out of room, like right about now, we got 10 on top. Here's one, two. See how they both rise up? You got a pin on each one. Normally, you only have one down and one up as the pin's constantly feed. But anytime you have two like that, you take pressure off this switch down here. And that stops the pinwheel. And this is the magnetic clutch that that switch up on the cross conveyor right there controls the magnetic clutch right here and that turns the pinwheel on and off whenever it needs to run or not run so i'm going to go ahead and clear it now and you see once it sets 10 pins got a good mix of the Pressure goes back on the switch and we start feeding pins again. Here they come. See how the switch works? Well, that's how the turn pin works on the Brunswick pin setter, how it turns the pins either way. Hopefully, that makes sense. It's pretty simple, uh, not very high tech or anything like that, but hopefully, that gives you a little bit more understanding of the Brunswick pin setter. Keep the requests coming. Look for us on Facebook and YouTube, Garage Bowling Alley, and we'll be live usually this Sunday. See you in the garage.